Hi there, welcome to The Bee Show, my name's Brendan, and today we will be reacting to John Carpenter's The Thing. I did get my ring light fixed, it was actually anyone who watched the Rosemary's Baby reaction, I was hitting the couch against the plug, extension cord in the wall is what was happening, so it's fine. I wanted to update my rating on Rosemary's Baby. I originally gave it 4.5 out of 5 because I found it a little bit predictable, but Thinking back on it, the only reason I found it predictable, I think, is because it's so embedded in pop culture now, and I've heard references throughout the years. So yeah, I'm updating it to 5 out of 5. I'm very hesitant to give movies 5 out of 5, because that means it's a perfect, flawless movie. But there are staples, and there are classics, and I think that is one of them. You, see, you can see why it's a classic. So 5 out of 5, my first 5 out of 5. Okay, moving on to the thing. Uh, what do I know? I know it's about aliens, or an alien force, let's say. I have an image of a scene in, like, Eskimo suits surrounded by ice with flamethrowers. Like, maybe flamethrower backpacks? I also have an image of a head with spider legs, and I know that happened in the It movie, and people were referencing the thing. Or they think that it was referencing the thing. So I'm expecting a spider head. That's about all I know. Oh, I know it has Kurt Russell. I used to love as a kid walking through the horror movie section in the video store. <laughs> For those of you who remember video stores. I used to love looking at all the creepy covers when I would get super freaked out. And I remember looking at the thing and wanting to rent it, and I just never got around to it. So, yeah, I'm excited for this. I don't know what year this was, 80-something. I'll do some trivia after the movie, but I do love me some 80s horror movie, and it's for the realistic, practical effects. They can tend to be pretty gruesome, and I kind of love it. I definitely prefer the practical effects to a lot of the, most of the CGI nowadays. I feel like it's somewhat of a lost art. Anyway, enough of that, let's move on to the thing. Oh, please feel free to subscribe, like, share, all that stuff, it helps a lot. Okay, let's get this going. Okay, here we go. Music second credit. That's interesting. You know what? This is giving me the fly vibes with Jeff Goldblum, uh, which is also one of my favorite horror movies. Sci-fi horror. Ooh. Oh, Dung Asser Waldenwald. I don't know if I got rid of the subtitles or not. Is he gonna shoot the dog? No, no. I don't like him. Stop. Okay, a science station in the Arctic. Kurt. This is old school. Oh. Okay, so I mean right away something about technology and he's anti-technology. Maybe. Enough of this. I don't want to see it. Are you friends with Kurt Russell? What are you doing? Oh, I love this dog. Yo, what's wrong with these crazy people? I'm alone. Yes, thank you. God. He looks a little bit familiar. I doubt if anybody's talked to anybody on this entire continent. Continent. So they must be in the Arctic or Antarctica. I'm just letting you know we're, we're taking a chance. Yeah, I mean, it seems a bit risky to go out just for an investigation. Okay, well, here we go. He knows what he's doing. Does he? I like the cowboy hat and the full beard. After watching Tombstone, he's like the the winter cowboy. Hmm. We're focusing on the dog a lot. The Shining. Clearly there was some slaughtering going on here. 
Okay, he killed himself. That's cool with the frozen blood. God, what the hell happened here? We're about to find out. Could be important work. I want to take it back with us. Well, let's get Good in the idea. Very... A nice bath? A hole? Did that hold an alien? My question is, did these people kill themselves or get murdered? Because that other guy slit his throat, so... And they had all the kerosene around there, so they might have set themselves on fire. A good chunk is being filmed from the dog's POV. It's very interesting. It's building a lot of empathy for the dog. I hope something doesn't happen. I really love dogs. I'm going to get upset. <laughs> we found this. That was a cool shot with the smoke. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> These are the effects I was talking about. I love it. Love it. Okay, yeah, that's Alien. Oh, interesting. Two people morphing into another. Is it an alien in the middle of changing into something else? Did an alien do something to two? Okay, I got questions clearly. The amount of time to build this whole thing, it's unbelievable. Amazing. It'd be easy to film being grossed out by this. Well, what well, we got. That is so cool. Ah! Clark, will you put this mutt with the others where it belongs? What happened? Did the dog just step on his foot? What's he afraid of? Seriously gonna be really upset if something happens to the dogs. Don't feel good about it. Don't leave him alone. Look how sad he is. Oh, I want to cuddle with all of them. Oh my god. What? Oh no. This is nuts. Yeah, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, the spider legs. Okay, well now it reversed, now I want this dog to die and all the other ones to live. Yeah, get out, get out. Crazy effects. Oh, poor dog. In the filming, even. It's just spraying him with a hose, I bet. Oh, wow, that was super gruesome and weird and original. All the other dogs stopped barking. Turn the light on. Why would you do this in the dark? Good. Yeah, get out, get out, get out. Okay, now, though... Okay. Wait, though. Let's go back. Oh, I'm glad some dogs escaped. Ew. It's like a weird half dog, half alien. Oh, this is gross. Oh. Oh, man. So weird. It keeps getting weirder every second. See? Yeah. I would let it burn a little bit longer. Did part of it escape? Okay, I guess the flamethrower worked. And it was a flamethrower backpack. <laughs> I was talking about practical effects before. This is crushing it. Is that the true form? It just kept sprouting and growing things. You see, what we're talking about here is an organism that imitates other life forms. Now are we not going to trust any of the dogs? How long were you alone with that dog? I don't know. Mm. I'm getting a... Uh, invasion of the Body Snatchers kind of vibe. We're going to be, like, suspicious of all of these people. Who's an alien, who's not. That's my guess. And I'm here for it. it looks like something buried under the ice. The spaceship crash. And then that block of ice you found. Mm-hmm. The block of ice was just like an individual alien. This is a spaceship. Mm-hmm. The dog walked under the table and that guy was like, Ow! And I didn't know what happened, but he got aliened. He's gonna be an alien. Oh, the Norwegians unleashed them. They were trapped in the ice for that long. I just cannot believe any of this voodoo bullshit. I mean, you can't deny it after seeing the dog thing. You believe any of this voodoo bullshit, Blair? Yeah, after seeing the dog go frickin' nuts. I mean, they taught the Incas everything they know. I always wonder about ancient aliens. 
So it attacks cell by cell until it takes over. Well, but how do you know? Do they even know until the transformation happens? Okay, well, the only one I trust now is Kurt Russell. <laughs> Him, this guy, this ginger beard, balding guy, I think is an alien. That's going to win somebody the Nobel Prize. Or murder you. Okay, well, if he wasn't an alien already, he's going to be now. <laughs> oh, is this going to be the spider head? Oh, it's going to be a weird, twisted, double face spider head. Okay. This movie likes doing that, like building the suspense and then being like, next scene. You're like, but wait! <laughs> it needs to be alone and in close proximity with the life form to be absorbed. Okay. Alone with it at night in close proximity. All right. Well, he's done. Oh. Bennings was right there, Mac. I swear to God, it had a hold of him. It isn't Bennings. No, it isn't. That's very Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I'm gonna take it fireworks. You just need to burn him good. I've known him for 10 years. He's my friend. He's dead. So the Norwegians figured out you have to burn them. And the dog was an alien the whole time, just faking being nice and sweet. Blair's been locked away, but I don't know if it's because he's afraid or he wants to transform without anyone seeing. But Kurt Russell knows now that you have to be alone and in close proximity. Everyone should be together as a group. Someone shoot someone. Fears I'll kill him. Just He's just super paranoid of everyone. Oh no, he's smashing the radio equipment. Oh now I don't know. Has he gone mad or is he an alien trying to stop them from talking to anyone? Well he's clearly a danger either way. We don't know who's an alien and it could spread to the whole world so we all have to die is what I think he's thinking. A perfect imitation? How would you know if it was really me? Mm-hmm. We've got whole blood in storage. We need to start working on that. Good plan. It's not gonna work out well when you discover who's an alien, but you'll discover. Here. Oh no. I guess I'm the only one. And I got the only key. I don't think it's the doctor. Oh no, he's gonna go mad with paranoia. They're burying the blood in the ice. All right, Doc, Gary and Clark, move over there away from the others. But if one of them isn't and then they're trapped with them alone, then they're gonna all end up becoming. I don't know if this is the best plan. RJ McCready, helicopter pilot, US outpost number 31. I'm wondering if anyone's gonna make it out alive in the end with this voice recording that's going on. I want Kurt to make it at least. Hmm. I'm suspicious of him. I'm suspicious of everyone. Oh, jeez. Ooh, got me. I don't want to stay out here anymore. I want to come back inside. Oh, he made a noose? I'd almost rather be alone Thank like you. him. Oh, he got the helicopter. They have no way out of there even. That took me a long time to clue into. Maybe he burned himself before it could get to him. Hmm. Because when I left yesterday, I turned the lights off. Uh-huh. Okay, suspicious face. <laughs> Anyone gives any slight look to the camera and I'm like, they're an alien. <laughs> but what if one of you turns all alien and then you can't get out? What if a fire starts when you try to burn an alien? I don't know. Oh, what's that? Oh, you're an alien. Child, what if we wrong about him? Mm -hmm. Is Kurt an alien? They're trying to make it seem like it, but I don't think so. He looks creepy though. 
That's your alien. Yeah, you guys all should have stayed together in each other's sight the whole time. You're gonna have to sleep sometime. Uh oh. Clear. Clear. Whoa. Haha. <laughs> Nuts, I didn't expect that. Here we go. I expected this, but. Uh. These effects are super creative. Oh, this is gonna be the spider head. Uh. Oh, do they not even notice the head? I like that he waited to let it burn, though. There it is. So good. How did they do this? I'd love to see a making of. Oh, it's upside down with weird alien eyes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, good. And they see it. You gotta be fucking kidding. Right? Okay. Okay. I thought there was gonna be a jump scare. I thought it was gonna run away on fire. Come on, let's rush him. He's not gonna blow us all up. Willie? No, no. I thought he was gonna get a stab on him first. Was that guy even an alien, though? Ouch. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Why are you showing it so much? Tie him up. I was wrong. I guess you're okay. I mean, if you're not an alien, you'd be like, this is a great I'll idea. Show you. Let's try the Doc and Clark. Doc was good. Clark is gonna be bad. Now, Clark. Oh no. Clark was human, huh? Yeah. Which makes you. Well, he was gonna kill him. Kind of self defense. We'll do you last. <laughs> We're not finished, though. Oh no. Huh. Oh. See, now they're all tied up. Come on! Whoa. I don't know why you took so long. Oh, wow. <laughs> Grab his blowtorch thing. That should do it. Oh. I thought he would just be dead. Okay. <laughs> It's really loud and scary when it's alien blood. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Oh. There's still the crazy guy in the shed. I mean, I'm thinking he's got to be an alien or else the threat is gone. The movie would be done. Yeah. Ooh, under the floor. He dug a hole through the snow? Oh, he's an alien for sure. Oh. He made a little ice cave house. He stole the parts from the helicopter. The smart SOB, uh. put it together piece by piece. Mm, he's roaming around. He's gonna get the guy on guard. It's a pretty good idea, blow up the whole spaceship thing he was working on. Maybe we'll just warm things up a little around here. <laughs> Burn it all. This is where they're gonna see him. It. We gotta bring this whole place right down into the ice. They're all split up again. Someone's gonna get attacked. Oh! oh. That's really well done. And we're gonna have two aliens. No, don't separate. And then we're gonna have three aliens against Kurt and he's gonna have to sacrifice himself and blow up everything. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Yeah, fuck you two! Yeah. The whole station's done. I don't see how Kurt could have made it out of that. Alright, he is alive. And he made it with a bottle of booze. 
Where were you, Charles? Mm-hmm. What I saw. Don't relax just yet. See what happens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm still not sure of anyone. It's gonna end right there. There you go. All right, let's d discuss. Okay, that was the thing. Another ominous open-ended conclusion. Was one of them an alien? I'm gonna say no. I like that it leaves a bit of suspicion, but I mean, you'd think one of them would have just killed the other one right there and been like, and done. Yeah, do they make it out? I guess they die there, who knows? Okay, super fun movie. I gotta say, the practical effects <laughs> were awesome. Phenomenal. They didn't look like 100% realistic the whole time, but the effects were maybe the most creative effects I've ever seen. I would love to have been in the boardroom meetings talking about ideas for you know, what the alien would look like and what it would do and people just coming up with really weird concepts and then being like, Go as far out as you possibly can. Yeah, so anyway, pretty much blown away by the practical effects. Super creative and awesome and grotesque and creepy. The direction was really good. John Carpenter, I know from Halloween, I think that's it. I loved the tension. I loved that it kept you guessing. Most of my guesses were wrong. Other than when it really kind of gave it away. Yeah, I did not do well with guessing in this one. Definitely did a lot of making you think one thing and then subverting your expectations like with the dog at the beginning and pretty much the whole way through with everyone you suspected. Kurt Russell was a badass. <laughs> yeah, a lot of really cool things. The hands getting bit off. The like him eating the guy while his feet were in the air. That was really cool. You know, I gotta say, some of the practical effects looked like, I don't know if you've seen Twilight Zone the movie, but there's one segment about a boy who can wish anything into reality. And the uncle pulls a rabbit out of the hat and it's this big demon rabbit. And the way that rabbit looks kind of reminded me of some of the practical effects in this movie. And I'm wondering if it was done by the same company or person. Yeah, let's look up some trivia. Okay, 1982. Oh, that's fun. A tradition in British Antarctic research stations is to watch The Thing as part of their midwinter feast. John Carpenter stated that of all his films, this is his personal favorite. The film is considered a benchmark in special makeup effects. The effects were created by Rob Botton, who was only 22 when he started the project. Wow. Ha! He did Twilight Zone the movie. Special makeup effects artist for segment three, which is the one I was talking about. Ding, 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 ding. He did a lot of great ones. Witches of Eastwick. Legend, I've never seen that. Total Recall. Seven. Basic Instinct. Fight Club. Charlie's Angels. Whoa, yeah. Quite the resume. Game of Thrones. Okay, so it was shot in L.A. on sound stages that were refrigerated down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Opened the same day as Ridley Scott's Blade Runner. The similarities don't end there. Both movies met with unfavor unfavorable reactions by critics at the premiere, but are now considered as some of the greatest films ever made. Many of the actors were made squeamish by the autopsy scene where real animal organs were used. Took Kurt Russell around a year to grow the beard. Would have taken me like five days. Kurt Russell took a drag of a cigarette at the beginning of certain shots in order to make the breath appear more visible. Interesting. So yeah, I would give this a 4.5 out of 5. I had a great time. It's clearly a benchmark for practical effects, which I love. My only downside, some of the script, there were some awkward moments in the script and uh, some of the edits were a little bit weird, but very minor complaints. I thought it was great. Definitely a great Halloween movie. Definitely creative and original. Even to this day there's not much like it effects wise, creature wise. I highly recommend. I think next we will be doing The Omen. I was gonna do Alien next but I decided to put it off because even though it's a horror sci-fi, I feel like the sci-fi element will take it past Halloween. So I can do it 
after Halloween month. So yeah, we'll do Omen next. Anyway, thank you for joining. I had a great time. Please feel free to subscribe, like, share, yada yada, all that stuff. And we'll see you next time on The Bee Show. Bye.